Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, well, don't welcome back, but uh, welcome to my new channel, No Fakes. And um, if I mean, subscribe. <laughs> I mean, nobody's new. Actually, yeah, you are new. Okay, never mind. Um, if you're new here, everybody's new here. So um, just subscribe. I post. I'll be talking about more about my channel uh, in tomorrow's video. I upload once a day, twice a day, if it uh, depends on my time. And, um, uh, yeah, so, upload once a day, um, good content, reviews, vlogs, I mean, if we're going somewhere fun, I'll, I'll record it, I always got my phone on me at all times, and, uh, reviews, airsoft gun, nerf guns, BB guns, um, vlogs, four things right there, boys and girls. So, yeah, uh, give you a good reason to subscribe. And today we're going to be doing reviewing the Retaliator uh, and all in all of its glory. Um, first, let me go ahead and talk about the blaster. I honestly like the Retaliator a lot. This was one of my fir very first Nerf guns. I started collecting Nerf guns um, about two, two, three years ago, close to it. I've got about twenty. Right now, uh, Christmas is almost here. New Nerf guns, new airsoft guns, new BB guns, um, everything. Pellet guns. I have not got a pellet gun yet. Actually, I do have a BB gun and pellet gun. That's my first pellet gun. But I think I'm going to get like one of the sniper rifles. Okay, let's stop talking about that. I'll talk about that in tomorrow's video with my channel and stuff. Okay, first let's talk about what the Retaliator comes with. First of all, it comes with the blaster with a 12 round straight mag inserted. Well, it's not inserted, I just inserted it. Okay, and this is in pistol form. Again, this is a top priming blaster. And then every time you pull it back, it's primed, and you push it back forward, it is now primed. So then to fire it, pull the trigger, boom, pull the trigger once. And uh, it fires to uh, to fire again. Do the same method. Pull back, push forward, and then you're able to fire again. Mag release. What you do is you pull the priming uh, thing, <laughs> priming handle back all the way, and then hit this button. You don't have to hit both of them. There's one on each side. Ambidextrous. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know what I mean. Ambidextrous. I think I'm saying that right. Ambidextrous mag release. Uh, just push it with your uh, finger, or if you're left-handed, push it with your other finger. Push it, pull. Or grab that, then pull. Pull, and then pull the mag out. Again, with pushing all those way back. Boom, boom. Take the mag out, reload. Reload another mag back in. Push the slide back forward. I'm just going to call it a slide, even though it's the priming handle. Then you just fire and keep priming. So yes, that is the blaster. Uh, it comes with a front attachment point. A rear stock attachment point. One uh, tactical rail on the, on the uh, priming handle. But I don't know why you would put anything right there. Because that's where you prime. Um, I mean, I guess you could put a scope at the very front and then grab it on the back or something. I honestly don't know what you could do with it, but yeah, that's it in pistol form. Okay, we got done talking about the blaster. Let's get to talking about the accessories it comes with. And it comes with a foregrip. Foregrip to hold. So, sorry, wrong way. Yeah, a foregrip to hold at the front of your blaster. To stabilize, help with the recoil. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, to help stabilize, move around corners swiftly, stuff like that. A super duper duper small stock. I actually kind of like it because there's no recoil. So whenever you put it on the blaster, whenever you put it on the blaster, your cheek is like right here. But there's no recoil, so nothing's gonna smack you in the face. All you're doing is just boom, cock, boom, cock, boom, cock. So there's no real recoil. And 
at the end of this video, or close to the end, I will uh, tell you how I run the Retaliator. How I run it in an Air 4. And that's going to be with all my reviews, uh, Nerf gun wise, because you don't have wars with, well, airsoft guns you do, but I mean, I don't really have a lot of accessories for airsoft guns. But yeah, so, uh, okay, so we got the stock. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, you could use these as sling attachment points, uh, just anywhere in between these holes and stuff. Okay. Now, this is a barrel attachment. Not that long, but, you know, pretty long, I mean, I would say. For it to be a barrel extension. Extension. Flip up sight to correspond with, no, rear sight, just this awkward, weird sight. That flips up, able to flip it down. I always keep it down because if you keep it up, it kind of looks silly, so... Keep it down like that. The barrel. It's a twisty barrel. Looks twisty. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going to get made fun of in the comments. Okay, let's keep going. A top tactical rail all the way down the barrel. Extension. And a bottom one as well. So that's the barrel extension. Now I'll show you in rifle form what it looks like. To attach a in strike attachment point barrel extension, you put it on like this sideways, corresponds with these and this. If you look in the barrel, it has one wide one and one small one. As you can see, one wide one and one small one. Correspond those with each one, twist, and then it should click right in place. Then you'll hear a click, and that's pretty stable. Time for the stock. It just slides on the stock right here. Just like that. And also, it's kind of skeletonized at the trigger. Little three holes right there. Uh, I forgot to mention this. Sling attachment point, and the handle is really comfortable. I love the retaliator grip. I just love it. And I uh, think that's all about the blaster. It's so. F so, yeah. Now for the last attachment the foregrip. Yeah, so that is the blaster in rifle form. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it in rifle form. Okay, guys, uh, we're coming towards the end of the video here. Uh, shooting test will be tomorrow in tomorrow's video, probably the second video of tomorrow. Yeah, so that is the uh, Retaliator review. I will do my personal combo uh, right now. I'll be back to y'all once I do my personal combo. And also, why I got the uh, mag removed, this is the mag transparent on that side. And the non-transparent on this side, but it has a little opening right there so you're able to see your bullets, or your darts. Sorry, I call them bullets. It's just a habit. So yeah, that's the clip. That's the slide whenever it's pulled all the way back, as you can see. You've got an access door right there to clear any jams. Put your finger in there, clear any jams. So that's it in the magwell. That's all the operations. Close that jam door. All the operations inside of there. If you just wanted to, if you're just curious. And uh, yeah, so I'll get back to my personal combo. Okay, this is my personal combo. And three, two, one, boom, bam. Let me tell you the basic stuff that I put on here. And yes, this is painted black. Not, it did not come this way. I did paint this parts. Uh, the regular retaliator stock because like I said uh, in the review I actually like it no I actually like it uh, a 10 round banana mag that comes out of the demolisher uh, Spectre Rev 5 uh, or suppressor but I don't actually suppress painted black painted black 
and then the rest is just basic retaliator stuff. So, yeah, that is it for the retaliator re review. If you liked it, punch that like button uh, in the face with your computer or whatever you want to. Just make sure you hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.